The county sheriff's department isn't skipping a beat either. Deputies say today's ruling will have little impact on their mission in keeping you safe. Only on ABC 15, Jennifer Parks with an inside look at how they're moving forward tonight. It's not far from Phoenix, and here the fight against illegal immigration is a daily battle. We go out and patrol the uh, major smuggling areas. Pinal County Deputy Jesus Lopez is part of a squad that works the desert area outside of Casa Grande. This car in front of us doesn't have a license plate. Lopez and his partner, Deputy Robert Taylor, pull over the driver. Got your license with you? Yeah. Lopez doesn't need to go any further with this driver because he shows his license and has the paperwork for the vehicle. The deputies say the fact that SB 1070 is on hold will have little effect. They'll still continue to go after illegal immigrants committing crimes. We had asked for identification. If they didn't provide identification, we detain them, call Border Patrol and have them verify their citizen status. The deputies head out to Stanfield, where one of their fellow deputies was shot a few months ago by drug smugglers. Here you can see bottles and trash and burlap sacks. They know illegal immigrants could be close. We are being watched right now. It's a giant cat and mouse games. They change it up all the time with us. And one sign that perhaps some illegal immigrants have been coming through this section of the desert are these burlap straps. We just found some out here at milepost 147. This is also uh, what they call a sack. This is what they use to carry the drugs in. We'll stash it somewhere out here in the desert and wait for a vehicle to pick them up. The deputies say it's only a matter of time before we all feel the effects of what happens out here. It starts out as you know, the drug trafficking, but it leads into more violent crimes after that. Crime these deputies are hoping to stop in the desert. In Pinal County, Jennifer Parks, ABC 15 News. Tonight